Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt from RC World, and today I'm going to be repairing the Remo S Max, which is I completely cracked this piece off, and I have cracked the bottom frame right here, and I also got the brand new one right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to put this completely together. So let's get started. And there might be a few subtitles in here. But I'm gonna, I'll talk through some parts on here. So, yep. Hey guys, once you have the bar off, you're going to separate the body pins bar off of the middle bar that goes down the middle of the car. So you're going to separate it like that. We're just going to take these two pins out. Very easy. Fairly easy. You take them out, set them aside. Once you get the whole thing out, you're going to want to put kind of just like set these screws kind of back in it. I'm going to show you guys something really quick. You guys have to remember that this is this is the back piece right here. That's the back piece. This is the back side. The arrows right here are pointing forward. You have to remember that. So the way I'm going to set it is I have my piece right here and I'm going to set it over there. And I'm just going to set this one right next to it over there. And this should just kind of pop off like that. I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm actually just going to set the screws next to it over there. Just to remember that that's the back side. So now that we've got that, I'm going to make this just a bit easier. So basically what we're going to do here is we're just going to pop the shocks off. So there's a little screw down at the bottom, you're just going to unscrew that. And I say leave the screw in the shock so you know it's the right one with it. 
and then you're just going to set them appropriately next to the new body, just kind of like align them. Nice, they're all the same, but I, I like to keep like them in the same position that they were. So, definitely do that. And I'm going to take the whole motor out right here. I'm going to set that aside. And we'll take the servo out soon. So right now we're going to want to take this screw out. I already have one that's been taken out. I just need to get this one out. So I have to clean the dirt out of this one. So I take a smaller Allen key and just kind of jam it up in there. Kind of turn it, twist it, and it slowly starts to come loose. And I'm able to take the screw out. And then the whole front bumper, you can just pull the whole front bumper. And it pulls the, the front stabilizer bars and hold the wheels together and stuff. So you just be able to pull that right out and just everything just come right out and take the whole front off basically. Okay, so I finally got the dirt out of that screw. And now this is technically supposed to just kind of pop off. Oh, there it goes. It pops off like that. Two bars kind of just come out. And then the wheels. There goes the wheels. And, then you, and on a new one, you're going to pop it in kind of just like that. It just goes just on like that. 
Now this is what I believe to be the front bumper. So I'm gonna set that near the front where the front bumper is. I think they're mostly exactly the same, so you really shouldn't have to worry about that. But uh yeah. Now I'm gonna leave the back ones on for a moment and now we're gonna start building on the other one. So I don't miss what pieces are go where and stuff like that, so Sometimes you can have something on the other side, doesn't really matter. But, alright, so now we're going to start working on this. So now this is the new body. What we're going to do is I'm going to start taking it apart right here. And you want to match and line everything up. So I'm going to put these side by side like this. You see the servo pieces right there. And it's going to match that one. And you're going to put it together just like that. So first, I'm going to start taking all the screws out. So I have to pretty much disassemble this piece. And also you can see that this will fit just like that on the front, but you got to put the um, the wheel parts in first. So I think I'm going to start put, put, putting that part together, and I also have to unscrew the other part too. So that's what you guys are going to do too. Okay guys, so I got the top off, it took a little bit, I had to take the motor piece off too. So, now what's going to happen is, I'm going to put this, the drive shaft in, and you're, gonna, you're always going to aim at where the motor is, but before I put the drive shaft in, I'm going to take the servo out of this one very quickly here I'm gonna leave all these little all the little pieces on here because I'd be really afraid that I wouldn't get it exactly right and that was the first time this servo has ever come off this car and I felt it and heard that snap And keep the screws for the servo because this whole plate piece comes off. Keep the keep this plate because just in case if that plate ever breaks, you can use it again. There's our little servo. Give it a, give it a good wipe with my hands. And I'm gonna keep, I'm actually just gonna leave. Don't move it. Leave it in the middle or you'll mess it up. Um, leave all the pieces on here. All this piece right here and stuff. It's good little. A little servo and on the body it's got this little piece right here oh, let me zoom in it's got this little piece right here that will be where the wheel part of it goes on here to kind of guide you make sure you get it right so and now 
we're going to get to the more body of body part of it now. So basically this is all done also. Guys, when you if you're going to throw out this old piece by, make sure you take the strap off too cuz try to save everything as best as possible. And now what we're going to do is I would like to put the servo on first. Let me get a screw here. Now I'm going to start taking the motor plate off and then I'm going to put the servo in its place. So this plate just pops right off after you take the screws out and um, keep the old uh, motor, or I'm sorry, keep the old servo plate that holds it down, keep the old one just because, and that's the one that you see on the left side of the screen too. Um, basically that's it, that's all you're going to do, you're just going to put the servo in there, you want to line it up in the grooves, you want to make sure it's definitely lined up or you'll have to take it apart again. Now we're going to start placing the uh, four-wheel drive axle bar in. You're going to want to line the uh, bearings up and everything and make sure you press it down every now and then because sometimes the bearings pop back out. So you just want to like, you wanna spin it and make sure it's kind of nice and smooth. If you want to grease it, you can. I didn't, but I, I should have. But that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to start putting the differentials in. Now the way I put the differentials in is that I did it backwards. But like you want to test your motor out and make sure that when your motor spins, you want to make sure that the wheels are going to spin forward. I messed it up and I had to switch the motor leads because mine was backwards. Because I am not taking that whole thing apart again right now. So let's make sure you have it right. But uh, yeah. Now I'm going to put the motor in place. You're going to want to line the motor up with the grooves on the bottom. And if you actually turn the whole thing over, you can see the little silver grooves on the bottom. And it, it technically just sits in there. And then when you put the middle bar on, the new bar that goes across, that'll hold part of it down. And then when you put the motor guard on that goes next to the gears, it will hold it down even more and make sure all those screws are nice and tight.
Yeah, do not put it in the way I do. Check it first to make sure they're all rotating the right way, because I completely did it the wrong way. And I had to take it apart again at one point, and then the whole car actually drove backwards, and I just, you know, I told you guys, I had to swap the motor wires and everything. So, don't do it the way I'm doing it right now. I repeat, do not do it the way I'm doing it. Do not place the differential that way. Switch it around. But I'm just right here, I'm just making sure it's working. Same thing with the other side. Those are not supposed to be exactly identical like that. The other One of them is supposed to be swapped around on the other side, so do not fall that way. But as I'm tapping everything, make sure everything's nice in there anyway. But do not do it. Do not put the differentials that way. You guys are supposed to make sure that you know it's going forward like it's supposed to. You want to test it and everything. I didn't. I forgot to. Or I thought it would go that way. Now you're going to want to start putting the middle bars down and check that bearing right there because that bearing fell out and you want to make sure all your bearings are in place or it won't work properly. So you're going to want to put that down exactly like there, push it all down, make sure you get all the screws in, then, then put the motor guard on. So you want to put the middle bar down first, then put the motor guard down.
I'm sorry guys. There's one thing I forgot. And that was to put this the servo piece on. I completely forgot after I screwed the whole thing on. My one screw is starting to strip because my Allen keys are not that good. So now I'm going to need my little piece right here. This little bar to go on here. Oops, oops. This one's a little bit more smoother than the other one. Oh, where'd it go? Hold on. Turn this. Like that. that. Seems right to me. I'm not gonna make sure does anything else have to go on me when I put this on. Let me see. No, nothing else has to go on then. Now I'm gonna put this on. And then go through that process. Process I do not like anymore. But they built it this way, so. Now it doesn't know it doesn't know when to go on there it goes. Alright, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go through that process. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So right here, you're gonna start wanna you're gonna wanna put the motor guard on. But you make sure, like I said this a million times, make sure you put that middle bar down first, then put the motor guard on because it kind of holds all together in like a puzzle kind of form. So, I'm going to want to do that. Now we're going to start to put on the front wheels. This is a very difficult process, but right here you're just going to basically slide that on. And you want to get aligned perfectly or it won't work. And then there's two front screws that are on this certain bar. Earlier in the video I show, showed them where I was cleaning the one out, the dirt out of the one. You're going to want to screw those two back in. Make sure you have them both nice and tight or as tight as possibly you can get.
So my camera battery died about just here. Very sorry for about this. But I had to just finish this car, either know if I was recording or not. But basically, you're just wanna you're gonna wanna put the front wheels on, you're gonna wanna put the back ones on too. Then you're just gonna follow the, the bars. Look where you've had the screws before because you can see the indentation on the the, the bars that, that go across that hold the wheels on in the servo turning bar that turns the wheels. You can kind of see where they were before. Just try to get it adjusted just the way you want it or in the way it was before. Very sorry for the battery camera dying. But I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Right after you see how I'm putting this on here. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Sorry, my camera's not all that great right here, so I hope you guys can see everything. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. All the shocks are in place. My shocks in the back and in front are in the middle screw section on the the body plates, I guess you could call it. Um, right there, I'm missing a screw, and I forgot to put it in there. So I'm going to have to do that, but it's, but it's in on the other side, which is... I think that's the back side or the front side, I can't tell. But uh, yeah, no, that was the front side. So to reverse the motor wires, because my thing was the thing was backwards. But not such a big problem. But it's really good. Got all the screws in place. Make sure you have all of your screws in. Just keep check, look everywhere. You know, and you're all good.